Hi. I'm going to do another line of wash, I'm trying to do a winter scene with uh, using a, a, a brush or two. Uh, and some diluted black acrylic paint. There, there's in a, in a lid, it's easier to use in a lid than straight out of the, the, the ink pot. I'm just, just using an old ink pot with some black painting diluted. Uh, I did this um, several years, oh, a couple of years ago. It proved to be quite popular. I'm going to do a sort of another similar type of version of it. Um, so, uh, plenty of water as well, it's sort of painting with the brush. So we'll, we'll put in a bit of a hill. These are great fun to do. Bit of a the path coming. Down here. And we'll put a bit of a slope. This could be the Surrey Hills. In fact, it will be the Surrey Hills. So let's put some bushes and stuff here. Now, these do flatter to deceive, I have to say, because the The, ink, the black ink against the white background does make them look a bit more attractive than <coughs> they would otherwise <coughs> be, excuse me. So we could just come across here with this and just a few bits of, now go to the snow scene. And we'll come up here with some dry brush as well. <coughs> oh dear. It's a frog in my throat. Oh no. So provided you get the drawing reasonably okay, you can wash in with colour quite quickly. And it's all in the all in the drawing so I love doing these trees. Don't forget to keep them nice and thick at the base because they are holding up a lot of a lot of uh, branches and leaves. There's one main branch coming up, and we'll. Uh, push in some some um, ivy Just thinking about the sort of trees that have all this all this sort of stuff sticking out of the, the base it, it tends to get with horse chestnuts well in the UK anyway and a lot of other trees but you get the ivy climbing up the trees but it, it's these all these lovely little branches that sort of come come out where maybe it's been pruned at some stage. I don't know. I'll uh, just put a little. I'm using the uh, Fabriano, but I've cut the um, the paper down to half the original size. I've, these are seven and a half by eleven inches, which is. Uh, just as hard to work with, especially because I'm going to be using the, the, the big hake. So we'll put one coming up here, I think. Then. The brush goes where it goes, really. The thing is, don't make them all the same. I'll put some woods behind this, but I'll, I won't ink them in. I'll use a, some a blue mix to get a cool colour behind. Now this one will be be bigger, so we'll just get that main. Oh, I'll put I. 
heavy in this. She won't mind. Now to make sure you don't blob your 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 ink paint by having too much on the brush otherwise you'll do what I did there but using a brush and the way I'm doing it it's, it's always a bit fraught with uh, unforeseen accidents happy accidents or otherwise and I reckon we can put in some Well, we just 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 a hint of a of a fence along there. We'll put in a five bar gate there. Right, just going up the hill there, a little bit, never mind, don't matter. Bit of land slippage there. Okay, now we'll uh, sort this side out. I'm not taking an enormous amount of care with this. I, I want to finish the demonstration in about 20 minutes or half hour. And I can thicken these up with the, with the rigor when I'm putting the paint on. Um, let's get some ivy in here. Okay. Right, I haven't made that the same as the other side. It's just some twigs and weeds, nettles, bits of fern sticking through. Some texture in there. Okay, now a couple of little figures. And let's put one Stepping in the snow, and we'll and he's got sticks, so we'll put some. That's what I like doing with the rigger. So it's hard to put some colour on that. That will all sort of die back a bit.
Right, that I'll, I'll do. Right, so there we have the basis of a, a line and wash. So let's give the brush a good, good clean. I'll keep it going for a long time. Yeah. Right, okay. So um, I'll give that a dry. So take your headphones off. I don't want any, any legal letters. Oh, I just wonder if he's bigger. Well, they're, they're very big trees, aren't they? Still watching. Let's take that off of there. Well, I've been keeping the paints moist in the Ziploc bag. But they are Cotsman watercolours, 21 mil tubes. <coughs> right, um, two inch hake. I'll give the paper a bit of a, a wet, a quick wet. And then we're going with a bit of a bit of warming. Let's have some. Uh, I can be careful here because my paints are still wet where I s squeezed them out of the tube. So I'm going to use a bit of a bit of sienna, burnt sienna, all over. And a bit of. Uh, Nice snowy looking sky. A bit heavier. A bit more warm in the sky. A little bit of bit of red, maybe. Right. There's a bit more cloud in there. Threatening. Right. And a bit more, a bit more lighter colour over here. If you want it some wet, you can sort of do more or less anything with it. Right, I'm going to give that a bit of a dry now. Headphones off. Just want to reclip the paper. Oops. Right, okay. Now I'm gonna find the hake. We want some some background now. Oh, you a bit of paint grey in there. Let's 
connect to there and we'll put in well then this bit bit heavier there right we'll put a bit of a greeny sienna -y stuff in Need that a bit warmer than that, so look, we're using tube consistency paint here. And let's put in a bit of a bit of warmer colour in here. lovely ivy just sort of hanging down. It needs to be dark enough just to show uh, but doing that it just it just tones down that black. Uh, okay. Now I want to put in some some blue in the behind these. I'm going to try this that quick wash. Hold on. So a bit of alizarin and a bit of bit of ultra. I won't put that behind. And that hopefully will give the impression of trees behind. And the same with the other, the other one. It's going to be dark enough to show. Bit of sienna in there as well. I hope I've never done that, but I want plenty of colour in that. Um, now I want this a bit darker in there, so I'm just going to use a bit of blue and a bit of burnt sienna. Just to show some some trees. In there. A bit dark in there. A bit of mystery. Right now light coming from here to say that so to put these trees just coming down from the other side down the slope give the shape of the the ground not quite yeah right a uh, bit of a shadow in on this slope on there Under there. Right, and let's get some some warm colour in there. Just showing through there. A bit burnt umber. Oh, just little bits of nothing really. Bit of black in there. And then a bit on the other side. Oops. I've done that. Right, 
Right, okay, now we've got to do... A little bit of uh, twiggy stuff on here. Put a bit of warm colour on here. That's a little bit of work with the rigger. Okay, clean the brush and uh, just give it a quick dry. Got a bit harder than I'd intended that. <coughs> and with the rigger, a bit of blue, a little bit of red, and we'll So if we put, put this in behind, give an impression of distance, well hopefully, it needs to be visible, there's a bit of grey I think. Right, I'm going to mix a bit of brown with that, with that blue, so we can then put in a few twigs, branches going into the canopy there. Loads of branches in it. Right, no more than that, I don't think. So, put a signature on, we might put a couple of birds in. So, sign it here. Valley. Right, I'm going to put that in a, in a mount, so it's a bit of masking tape. Man. Then it'll be lunchtime. Now my mount here is just a little bit large, but uh, well, the aperture is small, so I'm going to put that on there. Oh, there we are. Now, how simple was that? <coughs> I think I should probably put in a bit of a, a bit of shadow for me man. Okay, that'll do. Uh, Right, so let's bring you around and we'll examine what we've done. So there we are, nice nice warm background. Uh, just a, a, a typical Surrey Hills type of painting. Done it several times before. I've probably gone a little bit heavy with it, but that's the nature of the piece really. The brush gets carried away with itself and has nothing to do with me. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll zoom you in.
so there's my background simple as it could be look massive see by the time you put your um, thicker paint on the you get a dye back with the contrast between the black and the white uh, sometimes it's a shame to put colour on them isn't it but there's me the slope of the uh, the ground look we've got some footprints going along there indicated with the brush with the ink shall I say okay let's just come out of there right okay well thanks for watching I'll go and get this uploaded have a bowl of homemade soup now see you soon bye bye